In this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can create MetaHuman clothing in Blender. I'm going to use the DAS import method, and the Mercenary outfit is free to download on CG Trader. But you can just import any mesh to Blender if you don't want to use DAS. First, we need to download the DAS import zip file. Unzip it and navigate to the scripts folder. Add those two files to your DAS 3D library. Restart DAS and you will have the new options available. Double click Setup Menus and you'll get the export options added under File. If using that method to export doesn't work, just double click on the Export Blender script instead. Then double click on the Save Path script to specify the folder you want DAS to use to import to Blender. Now just create a scene. Save it as a DAS scene file. Then we'll run export to Blender to create a DBZ file of the scene in the same folder. Now open up Blender. Go to Preferences, Add-ons, and navigate to the Import DAS zip file. Click the checkbox to enable it. Open the Add-ons menu with N or by clicking the small arrow. Go to DAS Importer and first get it set up. We'll be pointing to the DAS Studio files. Then click on Root Path to click on the JSON file in the folder where you directed DAS to save. Now import the DAS file. And here it is with all the bones. If you're not using DAS at all, just import your rigged mesh straight into Blender. Next, you'll want to import the metahuman body you want to apply the clothes to. Navigate to the mesh and export. You can leave all these options unchecked. Now import that into Blender. It probably won't match with the clothes straight away, so you'll need to do some modifying. Select all the elements of the clothing, mesh and bones, and resize to get it close to the metahuman model. To rotate specific elements, you'll be going into Pose Mode, which you select at the top left after selecting the bones in Object Mode. One thing you'll probably want to do is turn on mirroring. This is so that whatever changes you make are made to both sides. However, Blender does require the bones to be named correctly. They have to have the same names and then dot L or underscore L for left, dot R or underscore R for right. Everything else in the name has to be identical for the mirroring to work. Hopefully, you'll only need to do some basic rotating, moving, and scaling to get the clothing to match. You can go deeper and make changes using sculpt tools, but I won't go into that as it would be a whole other long video. But if there's just a few patches, it's pretty easy. Once you're happy with the changes, select the clothing, go to Apply, then Alt-P and Clear and Keep Transformation. Now you can delete the clothing bones. Next you'll need to remove the bone references in the clothes. Go to Add Modifier, select Vertex Data and Vertex Group. Source is the MetaHuman model and click Generate Data Layers. Then go to Deform, Armature, 
and root. Now to connect the clothes, hold shift and drag the clothing onto the root of the metahuman. Now select the clothes, hold shift and select the metahuman bones and we're ready to export. Make sure you have selected checked so that it only exports the clothes and bones. Now in Unreal, import the FBX we just created. Set skeleton as metahuman base. If you get this message, just click no. Ignore any error messages that come up. And here we have it. For this particular model, the materials don't export properly using the DAS import method, but you can get them by using DAS to Unreal. Select the item of clothing in DAS, go DAS to Unreal, then open up the mesh in Unreal, copy the material, and paste it onto the mesh you imported. Do this for all the different clothes elements. If you don't have DAS to Unreal already set up, I've included download links for the files. Simply put the DAS to Unreal folder in the plugin section of whichever Unreal Engine version you're using. Enable in Unreal and restart. And add the DAS to Unreal bridge file to DAS and restart. You can also export these meshes that have been imported using DAS to Unreal and open them in Blender. Things will look slightly different, but it's otherwise the same process. If you do use this method, make sure you have these settings in Unreal and this setting in DAS, otherwise the meshes will import to Unreal at a 90 degree angle. Go to the metahuman you want to add the clothes to. For this item, it's a jacket, so I select torso and select that mesh we imported. It might need to be moved around or scaled a bit to fit right, and we can test some animations to see how well it works. Same process for the trousers. and we can select these as the new legs mesh on the metahuman. Depending on the animation, you might want to adjust so that limbs aren't passing through bits of clothing. And here's another example using different clothing. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, post a comment below and thanks for watching.